Hello, my fellow Archons, and welcome to another video. The day has finally arrived. My GameFound Winds of Exchange shipment finally came, and we're going to open it up on video right here, right now. All right, so this is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait to see everything. Half of this stuff, I don't actually even like remember exactly what I got, like in terms of personalization stuff and whatnot. But the first thing that really sticks out to me, obviously, is the legendary Fuzzy Gruen plushie with this tape wrapped around his head like he's a hostage. Let me free my boy here. And here he is, the legendary Fuzzy Gruen in all his glory. Classic Keyforge creature. My mom absolutely adores Fuzzy Gruen. And since I already have another Fuzzy Gruen plushie, I'm thinking that I might have to give this one to my mom. But yeah, Fuzzy Gruen OP. Moving right along here, I'm trying not to spoil myself with these, uh, these decks with the personalized names. I'm trying to think of a place I could put these so I don't see them. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. All right, we have the Equidon. I went with the Equidon uh, token creature cards because new house and everything, I really wanted to see um, what these are like. And these are actually super cool. So when I open these up here, we have Strange Shell. So these are actually double-sided. So we got Strange Shell and Prospector in this package here. And then we have Diplomat and Trader in this package right here. So yeah, these are really nice, proper token creature cards, um, double-sided. So on one side, we got the Trader, which is super cool. And then the Diplomat on the other side. And I do like that they're double-sided um, and you get plenty of them. So you can generate tons of token creatures and chances are you will not be running short on them anytime soon. Okay, so we got a couple play mats here. I went with the uh, Raider play mat and the uh, Krim Torchtooth playmat. Uh, both of these houses are pretty cracked in Winds of Exchange. And obviously with the return of Brobnar and Brobnar being absolutely insane in this set, um, I had to go with Krim Torchtooth playmat. But let's uh, open up this Krim Torchtooth one and get a better look at it. Oh yeah. Oh, this thing is gonna be gorgeous. I can already tell. Look at that. The Krim Torchtooth Playmat. Man, this thing is beautiful. The oranges of the fire, and you got like, contrasted so nicely with the grays and blacks and everything. Very deep colors. I really love this playmat. And Krim Torchtooth is what, like seven power splash attack four or something like that? He's crazy Brabnar creature. Um, lots of firepower, and this artwork definitely does him justice in my opinion. So yeah, Krim Torch 2 playmat. That is beautiful. All right, moving right along here to the Raider playmat. And as soon as I saw this on the GameFound uh, page, I saw I saw that artwork and I was just like, I need to have this playmat. Because it has those, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh. oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, those pinks and magentas and blues with that like, with those like sea greens. That's so nice. Wow. And the spiral of that chain, of that like chain, like mace, like this thing is insane. This whole weapon this guy's using is so amazingly drawn. This is a gorgeous play man. Yeah, so Crim Torch Tooth Raider. These are definitely a couple of the prettiest Keyforge mats that I own now. Yeah. I love these. They feel great. They look great. 10 out of 10 for the play mats, for real. All right, next up here, I think I found my two other uh, personalized decks. So we're just gonna put those right over there without looking at them, because I did not want to spoil those just yet. Save that for another day. Um, here's one of my personalized play mats. Also put that right over there. I cannot wait to open these up and see what my personalized names are, but we're gonna have to save that. I'm thinking for another video. All right, so we have here two Savior of Keyforge Winds of Exchange Archon decks. Here's another Savior of Keyforge Archon deck. We have one regular deck there. A few regular Archon decks. Very cool. A couple Unchained decks. All right, then we've got two more of the uh, personalized game mats here. Um, and then obviously each one corresponds with one of the personalized decks. So. Um, one mat will match up with one of the decks um, for all three of them. So that's really exciting. Ooh, these are sick. Oh, look at these. So these are the three Keyforge Adventures. I had to get one of each because I don't have any of these yet um, until now, obviously. So we got the Rise of the Kirakin. This is the first Keyforge Adventure. We have to take down the uh, Kirakin with your Keyforge Archon deck. The Abyssal Conspiracy, um, which I only tried playing this one once and I didn't get very far in it. So 
This one, I don't completely remember how it goes, but I'm excited to give it a try, give it a second chance at least. And then the brand new Keyforge Adventure, Fall of the House Gormengeist. Um, I haven't looked at any of the cards yet, except for a few. I don't know the concept of, of, the, of the adventure or what you're trying to do or whatever. So this is all new to me. Yeah, very excited to give this one a try alongside these other two, which is also exciting because when I first played these, I just did the print and play versions. So they weren't like official cards or whatever. It was just like cardstock that we put in card sleeves when we printed it out. But uh, this is like official, like printed Ghost Galaxy cards here for the Keyforge Adventures. Very exciting. All right, now on to the big stuff here. Winds of Exchange display number one. Oh, just look, hold on, just look at this for a second. This is a Keyforge Winds of Exchange display. Keyforge is back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Winds of Exchange. We are here. So that's display number one. We have Winds of Exchange display number two and Winds of Exchange display number three. Oh, I cannot wait to start cracking some of these decks. So excited for that. And then lastly, of course, I had to get one of these Keyforge Unchained displays. 12 Unchained decks in this beautiful box, this black and white um, display case here. That looks so slick. And Unchained decks are just absolutely bonkers. The, love, the like amount of Mavericks and anomalies and everything that you get in those decks are just insane. I love Unchained decks so much. So <laughs> I'm sad that I only have 14 total because I have this display and then these two right here. So I'm gonna have to really, really take my time with these <laughs> Unchained decks, but it's gonna be so hard because I just wanna open all of them. All right, and now we have both of these right here. Um, these I believe are the figurines. So I did not pledge at the tier where you got the, I think it was like Duskrunner or something. I think like the highest tier you would get the Duskrunner uh, figurine, but I pledged at the tier below that. So I only got two of the three figurines. Oh, this will this will be such a great addition to my shelves. Tactical Officer Moon. Let me make sure that stuff is out of the way. Oh, that's real nice. I, lo I love this base. The yellow key base is super cool and then the like uh, jet engine propulsion, like the smoke and the fire and everything that's coming out of Moon's jetpack here, looks really neat. So you just put that right down on the base here. Got the gun, really awesome pose and everything. And then this one I believe is a Niffley. Wow, this guy is so cool. That gnarled branch that he's hanging on to is so awesome to work as the base. So this is the red key. So he has this awesome red key base which is really cool. He has this, looks like he's about to punch something. The classic Niffleape. This thing, the thing he's about to punch could be behind Taunt and it could be elusive, but it would not matter. Niffleape is gonna get the strike in on this thing <laughs> either way. All right, and then we also have, I wanted to add one of these into my uh, shipment as well so I could do a video where I open this, but I got one of the uh, two-player starter sets, the new two-player starter sets. Um, which Ghost Galaxy actually put out their own video where they went through one of these. Um, and I think the way they did it is actually really cool. So I'm excited to dig into, into this myself and see what it's all about. And then this is one of the things I'm most excited for is I got the Keyforge Collector Set. Uh, the, the Winds of Exchange, it's the complete Winds of Exchange card pool, um, every single card. And the reason I got this is because I'm currently trying to collect a single copy of every card in the game of Keyforge. Um, and then Ghost Galaxy just went and did the entire Winds of Exchange card pool for me. So I was like, I have to pick this up. Um, it just works out so perfectly. So I, I'm very excited to look through the card set, um, see what like all the anomalies are and everything, sleeve these bad boys up maybe and uh, add it to my collection. That's super cool. All right, and then the very last item in this shipment is the Grim Reminder spoilers that um, were included for most people, if not everybody. Um, introducing the Geistoids, and it'd be super cool if I got one of the signed copies or something, one of those Richard Garfield signed copies. All right, so there's this awesome note from Ghost Galaxy and this awesome thank you note um, about um, the new set and everything. And without further ado, let's see which Grim Reminders preview cards we got. All right, so our first preview card is Lieutenant Halasta from Star Alliance, three power, after reap, stun a creature, 
Scrap stun the most power, the most power enemy creature. It looks like there's a bit of a typo there. Stun the most powerful enemy creature. Scrap effects resolve after the card is discarded from your hand. Super, super cool, unique um, ability that's in the upcoming set, Groom Reminders, that uh, I'm excited to see how it functions, especially alongside discard bonus icons. That's super cool. Card number two, we have Unfathomable Action, Tendrils from Beyond. Play, return a creature to its owner's hand. If its controller is haunted, return each of that creature's neighbors to their owner's hands. Very interesting. Kind of like a haunted variant of uh, like nature's call or like any any card that returns something to its hand but like it has to do with the, with the haunted keyword and lastly we have oh i wanted this one this one's cool the untamed action spooky charge if you are haunted forge a key at current cost shuffle your discard pile into your deck that's a neat key cheat that's like a classic untamed key cheat just like a nice cheap one forge a key at current cost and then it implements the haunted keyword so that's really cool Spooky Charge, Tendrils from Beyond, Lieutenant Halaska. No signed one, no rare one, but even so that's, so, that's so exciting. I can't wait to see what this new set is all about. All right, and there we have it. That is the entire, that's everything from my box here. So we got some of these extra Winds of Exchange decks, the Savior decks, two Unchained decks, the Unchained display, three, one, three Winds of Exchange displays, the two-player starter set, the collector set, um, all three of the Keyforge Adventure sets, um, an Equidon token creature set, and then Tactical Officer Moon Figurine, Niflate Figurine, Grim Reminder Spoilers, Fuzzy Gruin, three personalized decks and their matching playmats. Um, and then obviously the Raider and Krim Torchtooth playmat as well. But yeah, so we are gonna leave it right there for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I am so excited to finally have my hands on this Winds of Exchange stuff that I've had pledged since, what, last year? Like September of last year. And now it's finally here in our hands. Um, and I cannot wait. I truly cannot wait to start opening some of this stuff. Like I iterated before, most of, if not all of this stuff, I will be opening on camera in future videos. So you will not want to miss out on that stuff. We got the Savior decks, Unchained decks, um, the Keyforge Adventures, personalized decks. I mean, we got options. We got content for days out here. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss out on any of this. But yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you all again in the next one, either tomorrow probably, or in a couple days, probably like every other day, there will be a new video on this channel. So yeah, very excited. Thank you guys for watching. And I can't wait to see you all again in the next one. See you later.